on the thing this is what it is they want to call me zesty they want to call me fruity i did 15 zesty videos and they thinking that's what it is i ain't here to talk about diddy relationship with lil Nas x and french montana and meek mill because y'all already know what time it is y'all could believe what y'all want to believe if y'all want to believe that diddy and french montana got a lovers and friends relationship y'all could go ahead and believe that i promise y'all i ain't here to talk about that all night i ain't here to talk about the fact that he was kissing on rick ross and squeezing all over steve stout that ain't what the info is we talking about french montana getting lipo but keeping the titties he got a bbl on deck and they talking about did he pay for that and the only reason why i'm bringing this up is because these rumors got the world going crazy how come these record labels get these rappers, bring them up in the game just so they can turn around and get them a super duper BBL? Oh Y'all seen what happened to Money Bag Yo? They talking about he getting ready for his Walt Disney Dumbo remake, and that's why his face and his cheeks look like some floppy ears. They saying Yo Gotti the one that put up the bread so he can look like this. Not for the ladies though. Cause women don't even find this type of stuff attractive but them gangsters out there love a og fresh out of jail with a donk oh my and diddy allegedly paid for french montana to get his whole body done and people out here claiming they got the receipts we gonna talk about it y'all need to do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel also hit that notification button because i got so much love for y'all man and for the people out there watching i gotta let y'all know now if you leaving comments and showing me that type of love, it's only right that I show you that type of love in return. Hey, yo, Reg, get that thing set up, man. Yo, set, set that thing go right. Okay, who we got up in here, man? Where them gangsters at? Hold on, turn all that shit off. What's going on around here? Turn it all off, bro. Comments. The shit bootleg is doubling, is tripling, is bigger than this nigga BBL. What's wrong with the music? There it go. Y'all hear that? Who we got up in here? We got D. Markham, Gene S., Brian M., Katrina Edwards. And if I ain't say your name, that's because I don't know how to pronounce it. We got Joshua Atkins up in here, QS, Detroit's finest, Raina Smith, Young Joker, Lanisha, Eric Lawson, Jen S., Lisa Mix, and everybody else watching. So much love for y'all, man. But we got to get into this news right fast, y'all. French Montana got more flavor than any rapper you ever heard in your life. Diddy loved his flavor so much, he made a liquor after him because he wanted the whole world to taste this man. Is he really that delicious? According to Diddy, he is. He spent his last dollar to get this man body fixed up. Now that he going through it, he can't afford to send his kids to school. He can't afford to go out there and get a decent car. He ride around in Beetle Bugs while French Montana walk around here thicker than Trina and all that. Oh my that boy can't even get on the bus. He ain't got no choice but to drive the plane. He get on the bus, they catch a flat. His bubble butt, they got to squeeze air out his ass just to put in the tires, man. They said Lee Daniels put him up to it. But he ain't the only CEO with bad bitch male rappers on his roster. They all doing it. Meek Mill was a dusty little something before he got with Rick Ross. Now he all shaved up, chiseled, and they saying he got the lipo as well. And that's why my question for y'all out there is, is it okay for gangsters to get BBLs and lipo? Cause French Montana took it all the way to the max. Y'all gotta see this right here, man. Yo, Rash, go ahead and play that, bro. Get that together. Look at this, y'all. That's your boy French acting like he ain't sweating nowhere. Acting like he got a gym body, like he in there going hard, working out and lifting weights. You ain't even see him do a sit up, a push up, a lift up, or none of that. Front like he all natural. He ain't taking no steroids. They put his ass under the knife, y'all. What part of the game is that? And plus, he a pretty little motherfucker too. Little French vanilla dip. Diddy was all up in his sauce. 
me show y'all something before we even get into the presentation, man. Yo, shout out to French Montana. They talking about you crazy. I'm just here to elaborate on it, man. Hold on, look at this, y'all. I couldn't believe it. I ain't never taste this one. I ain't never sip it. Y'all ever lick on this bottle? The French vanilla Syrah. He did it for his mans. He put him in a bottle and call him his little genie. It's still in the stores too, man. Let me know if y'all taste that French vanilla. Diddy was pushing this shit hard. Love that man so much. He loved his body fluid so much. He wanted the world to experience, man. He put him out there for the masses. Y'all got to listen at this, man. We met in Vegas for the first time ever. You know, um, I'm did y'all see that shit? He put his hand up. Look, oh, that boy zesty. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh. And I hate to keep making zesty videos. I'm wiggling my toes and all that shit. I need to be ashamed of myself. Look at this guy, man. Look, 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 look. Well, we met in Vegas for the first time ever. You know, for the first time ever, we met in Vegas. With his little fur shit on. Diddy sitting over there with his legs crossed. Look at this, yeah. One more time. Well, we met in Vegas for the first time ever. You know, um, I'm sure. What happens in Vegas state? Look at his sugar daddy over there looking so splendid. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. Man, y'all get it together when y'all call up here. Look how Diddy sitting over there, so proud of his bae. Like, that's right, you doing it, daddy. He look like he about to spend another bet. He went and got him a BBL, yeah. The whole shebang. And made sure they kept the titties. Look at his body, yo. You doing it, daddy. They zoomed in on his double Ds and all that. Okay, run that back one more time. Y'all need to listen to this shit. Look, look, look. Well, we met in Vegas for the first time ever. Oh my you goodness. You know, um, I'm sure I heard about him more than he heard about me. Right. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this <laughs> is, man? Me, <laughs> What are we talking about? Look at this, yeah. Like, um, you going back to New York tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, he's like, come on, get on my jet. We're gonna go, we're gonna go back together. Come oh on, oh, bring, your, um, bring all your friends, too. Bring your friends, and I'm gonna bring my friends, and we could do this every weekend. He bagged that nigga in Vegas. What happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. Told him straight up. How about you and your friends get with my friends? And they've been doing the damn thing ever since, man. Look at this. You know, then we went back, you know, we landed, and after that was history, you know. Look, Ellen looking like I know zest when I hear zest. She like, whoa. So you guys met in Vegas. Diddy looking like he ain't telling the whole story. He got his hand on his back and everything. This ain't nothing but Ludacris and Quincy Jones all over again, man. He Quincy Jones and these rappers out here and been doing it for years. He turned French Montana into a bad bitch. Oh my now he on trial and people looking at him all suspect. And French Montana trying to get his gangster back. He don't gain all the weight back. Like that's going to cover up the fact that Diddy had him out here with his booty sitting on swole. Oh my Look at this, man. He trying to cover up the evidence with a pot belly hanging around Fat Joe. He gave the six pack and the butt fat back. Cause he embarrassed about what he done did. 
They said he caught like eight colds trying to be sexy. Look at his beat. Khloe Kardashian took a picture of his BBL and showed it to the world. That's the reason why he broke up with her ass, man. She had his BBL all on social media. And when he got mad, she talking about it was her ass. And then she went and got rid of her ass because he was mad. And it's just a big old fruity mess, man. Y'all need to look at this. Yo, Raj, go ahead and play that, bro. One more time. Play that. Look at this, y'all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ellen like, okay, whatever. Go back together. Come on. Bring, your, um, bring all your friends, too. You know, then we went back, you know, we landed and I Diddy got that face like something kinky is going on. Like, Ellen, you see how I do? Look at this. That was history, you know? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You still... It went just like that. No, for real. I'm... Ellen looking like, hell no, nigga. She looking like, uh-uh. She be knowing, man. Best believe she know what time it is. Hold up, look, look. No, yeah. I been, I, I'd I like to get on a jet with you so you can give me my flavor, too. Is, is that how? Oh, my God. She called their ass out in front of the world and people ain't even know what the hell was going on. <clears throat> she said, I want to get on a jet so you could give me my flavor. Get on the jet with this man. He give you your own flavor of Ciroc. Like it's that damn simple. Negro, please. My brother started in Africa. Imagine being in Africa, check it out, with a dream to be a hip hop star. That's like thinking really, really crazy that he's going to do that. He manifested that, came from Morocco, came and moved to New York, kept hustling. And what a hell of a story, but I ain't buying it. He want the world to believe that he African, like he blacker than black. He blacker than your average black person. And that's why he deserved to be in hip hop. Like he ain't no culture vulture, like DJ Khaled and Fat Joe and the rest of them dudes, man. Oh my Matter of fact, I take Fat Joe out of that cause Fat Joe blacker than a lot of black people, but French Montana, he trying to sell the world that he come from the gutters of Morocco. And he talking about he got shot in the head. Tupac got shot six times. 50 Cent got shot nine times and French Montana got shot in the head. So he certified. Look at this man. The only shot he got was that BBL shot. Keep on talking about how he got shot in the head and he survived and all that. How you get shot in the head and you got a head full of braids? Where the spot out they shot at? Do we got a ball patch in the back or something? The only way we gonna believe you is if you got a hairline like LeBron James. I got shot in my head. That's why I talk like this. I blah, I blah, 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 in my head. Hold on. People talking about the sound is bad. Do it sound good to y'all or what? Let me know. Do I need to fix something? Is the music too loud? Y'all got to let me know, man, because we only do five star presentations. And like I said, the phone lines is open. But if you call in acting goofy, then you ain't going to be able to have no phone call. Oh my the Lone Ranger in the building. What it sound like, y'all? Is the quality there? Do I need to turn up the mic, turn it down? Speak to me, people. Because it's a bunch of stuff I'm going to be sharing with y'all. Like I said, we ain't here to elaborate on nobody's sexuality. That's not what we trying to do. 
Because it's all, look, they talking about it sound fine. Who the hater talking about it sound bad? Where the, where he at? Mary Jacob Israel. Somebody turn her hearing aid up. We love you, Mary, but you're going to have to get it together. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, Sean. Oh, what's going on, man? We got the hood rat on the phone, everybody. How you feeling, beautiful? I feel good. How are you? Man, I'm over here feeling kind of crazy because once again, we doing a zesty, zesty video about Diddy and Mr. <laughs> French Montana, the light-skinned bomber. They've been together for a long time and there's rumors out here that when French went and got that BBL and them big old tig old bitties, <laughs> Diddy paid for that. And my question for everybody is, is it okay for gangsters? to get BBLs and lipo because if you if you fat and you don't like it and you got the money to do something about it is it wrong to go there and do something about it when you're supposed to be a gangster yes but I don't even think French Montana is black isn't he Arab man we don't know what he is. he might be on Latino for all we know but he I think he's I think he's Arab either way he got a BBL sister well, men should, you know, there men have been getting plastic surgery for ages now. Mm -hmm. They just starting to get, I think, more of the ladylike surgery. You know, like the Rainbow Boys is getting like the BBLs and stuff like that. But guys been putting like weird injections in their muscles mm -hmm. and ab etching and different things like that that they look more muscular I, I mean if he's walking around with a BBL for real that's disgusting did he like it and he got the money to afford stuff like that now if that was his boo allegedly once upon a time then you know he gonna do what daddy want him to do if he's walking with a BBL that's nasty and, and I mean did he's nasty did he lay down with anything I think he'll lay down with an animal yeah, I, I believe he would too if all these rumors are true. We don't know. They said his stomach looked like a pack of Vienna sausages sitting on his stomach. Man. <laughs> he went out there and got to work. And instead of hitting the gym and working out hard, these dudes going under the knife just like females do. And they suppose now if you ain't gangster, matter <laughs> of fact, if you a part of the LBG or you just a regular civilian and that's something that you want to do with your money, by all means have at it but if you supposed to be a gangster yeah. talking about that coke boy waving moving snow and you all in them streets but you walk oh. around with a bbl french montana is a jester and we've been knew that we he's been i i just figured out like some years ago that he wasn't even black i didn't even know i thought he was like a mixed race guy or something like that or a light-skinned black guy and they're like no he's from like he's arab i said excuse me and he you know so he's a jester you know he came over to new york from wherever he's from and he posed he's a poser so now he's posing as a you know as a bad chick hey if he likes it he talking about his pops in jail in morocco like he doing real things over there he on robbing camels and shit over there in Morocco and his dad on lockdown. <laughs> like, give up the money, buddy. Give up the money. Now his jail, his dad doing life in jail because he doing real niggas things in Africa. Hey, maybe they are over there and they probably trafficking a lot of things. You know, it takes for you to have a hell of a story in order to you know really get over here and make a splash it's a rags the richest to everybody got to have one if you want to be successful you know yeah but he's a poser but all of these people are posers i heard b diddy was a suburban boy i heard that too yep like there's just a lot of what's the one guy's name he's a rapper i thought he, he used to rap about going to jail and he never went. I think he died because he had an egg in his throat. I forgot who that was. Um, Prodigy, he was a real one, you know, for as far as I know. I heard he's from the suburbs. 
his people had bread. He ain't really from Queens, according to a lot of people. But rest in peace to Prodigy, though. Mm. He, he was real as far but as I could see. All of them are safe. Amen. I mean, all of them are safe. They rap about a lifestyle that causes us to go down a destructive path while they just get all the money from our stupidity. So, like. Do you think French Montana had a sexual relationship with P. Diddy? Yes, I seen that picture you posted with them two all close. That's very weird for two men. And Meek Mill too on the motorcycle bike, nut the butt on the motorcycle bike. That's that's weird. That's not two men are supposed to be that close together. They got French Montana and Diddy laid on the boat. They he, Diddy got his booty pressed up on this man crotch. <laughs> no, that looks crazy. He push he pushing his booty back on French and French pushing forward. Not close to the girl. Yes, they are. Ew, I don't even want to say what it looked like they doing. And did he put his did he put his leg up on them? The fuck? Yeah, see, and you see the girl ain't even that close. Like they rose over hoes. It is what it is, man. Do you think Diddy wrong if these rumors is true? Is he wrong? And I wouldn't say he the only rapper, or only mogul that's doing stuff like this. You starting to see this more and more. These CEOs be wifing up these rappers, especially if they got a big name. Mm -hmm. They bring them to the label. They shower them with gifts and clothes and cars and jewelry. And now they taking it so far to get these niggas BBLs. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's what they want. Damn. They can say no. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of people who they get to their record labels, and they talk about sign on the dotted line, and this is what you have to do. And they say no, thank you, and they walk away. So to me, the money just shows who they really are. That boy Drake, he got liposuction too. He went out there and bought him a six pack. Instead of going to the gym and hitting it hard, <laughs> they getting they they fat sucked out they top and putting it all in their bottom, man. Yeah, they putting it in their chest, too. They try to get them pecs. They look crazy to me. They really don't look good. Hey, if this the new era and this the new wave, you know, you really can't fight the tide. If that's the direction we going, women do it all the time. I guess men feel like, hey, I want to look sexy. I want to cut some corners. And they out there doing it. You know, they got the money. If you can afford it, I guess, you know, but don't be talking that street shit, though. I mean, I don't think people should get it if they could afford it. You know, this is life or death. Like, you could really die in them. So remember Cardi B said that in her little interview? She's like, I could die from what's in my butt. Like, yeah, it's unsafe. I it, don't yeah. know why people want to risk themselves that way. But to their credit, if you were an entertainer and you in front of them cameras and you trying to look the best you could possibly look, then you know you might want to, you don't want to be in the camera looking all busted or whatever but depending on what you're trying to portray if you in a tyler perry movie then i can understand <laughs> but if you rapping about busting them hammers and doing street shit and being a real one what the um bbl got to do with all that um they edit the pictures anyway that's why if I was a celebrity, I really wouldn't get work done. Why would I need to get work done if you want to edit my photos for me to look perfect? You know what? Um, different strokes for different folks, man. But for Diddy to be out here treating his male artist like how he would do a female artist, that's kind of bizarre. That's Diddy how I feel like men sons. I mean, I'm not surprised about these guys putting fat in their behind. They like to do each other. Allegedly. That's what they be saying, man. And your expertise. Look at the picture. Yo, man, we looking at all them pictures, man. And you said nothing but the truth. You've been kicking facts this whole time you got on the phone. That's why we got to let you know you are appreciated like Tupac's mother. And the next time we go live, <laughs> you definitely got to call back. Love you so much, girl. We're going to holler at you real soon. No Ooh. doubt, man. She let the world know how she feel about it. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about it. Do y'all feel like this is wrong or do y'all feel like it's all right? It don't matter to me either way. I decided to make this video 
because I don't like the way people making it seem like Diddy's the bad guy. When y'all know for a fact, there's millions of dudes that are signed up right now, even after all these allegations, to be his new boo. All the tough dudes in your city, wherever you live at, will be ready to be on this man's bandwagon. So I can't even blame French Montana at this point for the opportunity. People out there would definitely take it, yo. Look at this, yo. Imagine being in Africa. Check it out. What a dream to be a hip hop star. That's like thinking really, really crazy that he's going to do that. He manifested that came. Why is they on Ellen? Feel me? Why them niggas sitting on Ellen? And you already know what time it is with her. Got his legs crossed. They got invited as a couple to come on Ellen. If that ain't suspect, I don't know what it is. She thought it would be a great idea to have Diddy in. He gave him a flavor of liquor? French vanilla, huh? Sound like some suspect shit. Her and her team got together. Why would she want the cocaine cowboy on her show? Diddy got on a cowboy hat with the cocaine cowboy and they sitting there talking to Ellen about this man like he accomplished something because he with Diddy. Come on, man. Somebody make it make sense. Hold up. From Morocco came and moved to New York, kept hustling and bustling, got on my radar. I see him, I'm like, I have to have him on the team. My God, this nigga said, he got on his radar and he had to have him on the team. He was melting in his pants like, oh my God. Oh my goodness. I gotta have you, daddy. I see you out here doing your thing, French Vanilla. How about you get on the plane? You bring your friends with my friends. See you out here hustling, daddy. You doing your thing, daddy. I gotta have you. Like, I cannot let you go. I need you to be mine, daddy. Get you a fur coat, some jewelry. I see you out here doing your thing, daddy. Diddy done scooped them up. Look at this. We in Vegas. He... He's like a hot commodity. He's oh being goodness. humble. He makes great music. And that's what we here for. And that's what it's about. But it's also great to hear like when there's certain special artists. And he's a special artist and he's like my best friend. Look, look at French Montana's face. He looked like he about to cry. Oh my goodness. Like, mm -hmm. like that's right, bae. He, he about to cry. Did he, you know you make me feel so good. You know you make me feel so good. Bad, 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 bad boy. Yo, hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yes, uh, it's your Beyond Ball from Philly. What it do, baby? Did you just call me baby and all that? Oh my baby boy. Goodness. Baby boy, huh? I mean, I ain't no zest in it. Baby boy. Baby man. Whatever baby happened boy, to baby. Young Bull? And ain't you from Philly? I would rather be a Young Bull. Yeah, I'm from Philly, but I ain't, I ain't no Young Boy. You got old heads out here. How old is it? Hey, bro, man. However you serving it, I guess that's how, um, damn. I ain't trying to, come on, man. You put me in the per. We are, the video already zesty and you adding on to the zest and all that. <laughs> Let's act like you ain't never say that. What you got to say, bro? We all this. Yo, ain't nothing zest about me. I love Kush. You hear me? Now, if I call you baby or baby boy, that don't mean I'm zesty, do it? I never look, I never looked at another man thing. I said, let's yes, act is. like you ain't never said that. And you said it two more times and you're going to keep on talking about this. We're going to erase that from the memory bank, bro. 
we gonna act like I'm, you ain't call up here and call me baby man just say we want to hear what you got to say about diddy please respectfully my no, brother my brother i meant instead of baby i meant blaze john blaze thank you bro i am not your baby and i want to thank you so much for your phone call don't be a stranger Ooh. call back the next time we go live man y'all that y'all want this y'all want the zest i see what it is matter of fact let me take my shirt off man. and finish the rest of this damn henny i can't blame y'all y'all under the zest impression the video zesty is talking about gangsters with bbls i don't i ain't mad at him i'm mad at my damn self for even making this video he ain't do nothing wrong he figured that's what time it is and all that and i hey if i clicked on the video that said it this video will make you want to get a bbl oh my and nigga out there thinking about it and he been considering it he been contemplating for weeks, for months, maybe even years. I don't blame that brother. I'm gonna take the L for him being zesty and for y'all being zesty. This the moss, this my bed and I'm gonna have to lay in it. Nut stains and all. Oh my goodness. I said Diddy was in love. He paid for French Montana BBL and his liposuction. So we might have some zesties calling tonight. So y'all be ready for that. But until then, let's get back into this, man. Reg, go ahead, play that. Look, look, look. So I'm gonna always speak love about it. Right. And then you're, the proceeds are going to a good cause, right? You too humble, tell me. Yeah. What I do mean, you, um... Tell, tell us, <laughs> it's, it's a big... Too humble, tell me. I mean, um... Damn, Diddy trying to push this, trying to push him in the right direction. You too humble, daddy. Tell him. They asking about your liquor. I made this for you, daddy. It's your flavor. She asking about the Ciroc. You too humble. T tell him. Too humble, daddy. I got you your own liquor, your own brand. Look at you. You shiny. You got chinchillas, furs, diamonds. Don't be shy, Daddy. Don't be scared. Tell him. Good cause, right? You too humble. Tell him. Yeah. Oh, I mean, um. Tell, tell us. It's, <laughs> it's a big. Too humble. Tell him. I mean, um, you know, we went to um Uganda. Right. Um, last year before we did Unforgettable. And, um, you know, I went there into, like, this little ho um, hospital they had there. Shout out to, um, um, Global Citizen. And shout out to, um, Mama Hope. We went there with, like, two rooms, like, this one, like, little hospital for 300,000 people. Then after that, it was just like I said, you know what? We have to come and help people one day at a time. So what did you open? You opened up a what there? Uh, a, a, a clinic. A clinic. So you have a clinic, a clinic there. So the proceeds from, so not only do you uh, buy. Let me give you all an abbreviated version. This man is so <laughs> humble, he can't even talk about himself comfortably. He went. No, Diddy, you trying to sell some shit. Trying to make him a humanitarian trying to clean up his image trying to downplay the cocaine cowboys and all that he got a clinic out there in uganda oh my that can't nobody prove can't ain't nobody about to go investigate ain't nobody got no cameras over there can't nobody prove if y'all telling the truth or not the proceeds is going to a clinic in uganda in the middle of nowhere and daddy doing right that daddy gonna do right Ellen, this is my man. He trying to put him out there. Don't hooked him up with a Kardashian and everything. And like we getting that clean money, daddy, that clean money. Don't worry, Frenchie. French don't know what the fuck to say. Excuse my language, but damn. 
Diddy got to walk him through it. Look at this, y'all. Uganda so they didn't have a hospital, so he went and built the hospital. There's some people in life that don't like Nigga, you full of shit. How you, this nigga, oh my he said Uganda ain't got no, French Montana went, he just stumbled across Uganda and built the hospital out there because they ain't had no hospital off of the Ciroc money. On Ellen. On Ellen, y'all. Look at this. He went to Uganda so they didn't have a hospital. So he went and built the hospital. There's some people in life that don't like to speak about what they do. And that's this man right here. So we he don't like to speak about what he do because he ain't do none of that shit. Come on, man. Diddy dog walked him, walked him through it. French looking like he clueless to what this man is talking about right now. Don't fool the masses, yo. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Sean, it's Mia. How you doing? Mia, I'm doing amazing now that you called in. But before you called, I was stressing because Diddy and French Montana got all different types of suspect things going on. How you feel about all this? Oh, they been having that going on. But let me correct your, the name. It's Nia, like Nia Long. I just don't have her paper. You no know, doubt. I, Nia is on the phone, y'all. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? We talked before. We had a good vibe. And I can already tell that because we got a good vibe going right now. And I appreciate the fact that you called in, man. It's a lot of men out here getting lipos and BBLs. And I'm talking about they hardcore certified street gangster rappers out here getting work done to their bodies. Do you think that's okay or do you feel like that's wrong? Brother, I'm my 81, baby. You know damn well that shit don't work for us. Hey, man, we in the new era. You can go down there and get the work done and go back home the same day looking right. No, there's no in-between. I'm sorry. There's no in-between, no politics in it. it. It's either one way or the other. We've been known that he has been who he is for a long time. Yeah. You know, and we heard the rumors about them having relationships and stuff like that. But as far as them... Yeah, as far as them paying for each other's surgeries and stuff, I mean, do you feel like that's taking it too far? Oh, uh, yeah, I, but I can believe it. <laughs> it's not far-fetched. Real talk, it ain't far-fetched. You talking about you an 81 baby and you from the 80s and stuff, but it was gangsters yeah. back then that was taking zesty oh, yeah. club pictures like Birdman Brother. Oh, they got him in a club with gangsters sitting on his lap in New Orleans. Oh, no, that shit been happening. It was just more discreet back then. You know how it was coming up. I don't know what era you in, but you know how it was coming up. Who that one dude was gay, but it wasn't as publicized as it is now. It's okay. You know, and to, at the end of the day, to each his own. Don't knock me for that, but be real about who you are. Yeah, man, they all got on church socks, hoochie daddy pants, and they sitting on each other lap. And right. this took place in the 80s, man. So what you saying? It's been happening. It definitely you know, been like, happening. I'm going to put it, I'm gonna put it to the contest like this. Let's just use the nice album. It was written. It was written. It was already strategized and plotted a long time ago. It was in your face, but we really didn't know it. Now that so many things going on with you know the transgender which I'm not knocking nothing don't get me wrong I'm not knocking nobody's whatever they want to be but just in general everything's so political oh I'm a feminist woman I'm a masculine man oh I'm in the LGB community everything's just so scrutinized to a degree but this shit been going on it repeats itself and all this thing going on, rumors about that we do this a long time ago. This is nothing new. It's just now that you got social media, a lot of platforms 
that they can really go out here and put you on blast now. You can't hide that shit now. <laughs> you know what I think it is? When you see two brothers that's close, when you see two men that really rock together real tough, now you got to think in the back of your head like, yo, it might be some funny bunny stuff going on. To a certain degree, but, you know, I don't necessarily think of that off the gate. But if they have certain speculations make you think that, well, first my son and Diddy, we already know that. But in any other circumstance, with like a brotherly love, you know, it's like, you know, my brother, then you know <laughs> it's cool. But other uh, shit that's nasty now, this shit has been going on for a long time. It is now, it's in the light. And everything comes, 2024, I'm telling you, this election, everything, so much shit gonna come to light. The people that are not woke, that should have been woke like 10, 15 years ago, damn, but you're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today, because it's too much information out here, man. Yeah, it is for you to be ignorant. It really is. For people to be ignorant right now, you got to be just plain stupid. I'm sorry. Hey. You know, and I'm willing to accept all of the stuff that's going on because if it ain't me doing it, why should I lose sleep worrying about what another grown man doing with his life? That part. It's all good. You know, that's the lifestyle they in. A lot of them rappers, them people that got money, they got money because they know how to make certain people happy. Right. And they've been doing that. This, this has been going on for so long gotta think about it it's been going on for a very long time those that we watched back in the day and when we look at it now we see the subliminal message that it was pushing and you understand it if you really woke because you understand it and everything now they're not afraid to put it to like think about it when we was growing up a lot of stuff that you see even went down to regular public tv you didn't see certain sexual activities male on male or female on female not just like on public tv like you would see like on the hbo cinema now they don't give a damn that's why these kids can do and i'm not saying my thing is like this if your kids gonna be one way or another let them figure that shit out on their own don't push that shit up on them early and they don't know how the hell to think the media does that to kids now and just to society and even with grown-ups as you know I work for, I'm not even going to say who I, I work for, but I deal with a lot of public people and the ignorance of people, just with pure common sense, you be like, damn, you have a kid and somebody else that you got responsibility for. <laughs> That's real, man. You just never know. Do you think the Motown artist was zesty? Oh Did Stevie Wonder yeah. ever make you wonder? They've been pushing that shit for a long time because, for one, if you think about it, and I'm sorry to say this, with the black male, they want to demasculate the black male. And this goes back even to slave time, you know, when when we had that situation going on. There's certain things that was going on and that the certain white man is envious of. But at the same time, when they use dark skin, light skin, um, house nigga, field nigga. They're going to se separate us so we can be blind. Just as well as they'll even separate us in the society, whether you're black or white and you're in a certain category of a bracket of taxes. They put so little baby on life. Motown and he was somebody was squeezing his booty. Now he on Motown. Yeah, our little baby, they done got his ass. I don't know if you didn't remember when he was on that all white boat party with all the militia. They got him then. That's when they started to deliver his ass. You just never know, man. But like I said, if that's how they living and that's what make them happy, then, you know, have at it. But don't be talking that gangster street talk and y'all out here bumping and grinding with each other. That's what got me confused about everything. But then again, all them gangsters that be in and out of jail, you already know what time it is. Of Look, course you do. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X made a video about how them boys get down in jail and people was mad. Lil Nas X is a coonery damn fool. <laughs> he is like the puppet for the dumbest. You know what I mean? He, he only represents the foolishness. That's all he represents. He, he don't put a representation on none of us black people. We are not claiming him. No 
doubt. We ain't claiming Diddy. We ain't claiming Prince. We ain't claiming Lil Nas X. We ain't claiming none of them people. But one thing for sure, we definitely claiming you because you are sister and you know the real. And we love you to death and we going to hold you down. That's why the next time when I go live, you definitely got to call back. So much love for you, sister. We going to holler at you real soon, man. Yo, she was kicking the ballistics, man. She from the 81 era. She knows her hip hop. So whenever she call in to talk, I'm definitely going to listen to every word she got to say, y'all. But back to what I was saying, man. I ain't mad at nothing that people got going on in their personal life. If it makes you happy, I'm happy for you. I don't give a damn what it is. As long as you ain't hurting nobody, especially no kids, and you ain't committing no murders, have at it, man. But I don't like how these rappers be leading people astray. Just like Diddy on Ellen. Leading these people astray. Like they got something good going on. Like this man got a cause in Uganda. Ain't his ass supposed to be from Morocco? But he built the hospital in Uganda. Somebody make it make sense, man. Hold on, run that back. Comfortably. He went to Uganda, so they didn't have a hospital, so he went and built the hospital. Oh my There's goodness. some people in life that don't like to speak about what they do, and that's this man right here. So we may need to get to the party, baby. <laughs> Seriously, it's a, it's a, it's an amazing it's thing that you're doing, yeah. I, and yeah. and I I think that's amazing because you could you can make it and do nothing and just uh, and just party and be sexy while you apparently you're very sexy when you yeah. party. Um, but she throwing shots all day long. She making them boys feel very, very uncomfortable about themselves. They talking all that shit. It's going in one end out the other. So y'all sexy as hell when y'all be partying. That's all y'all do is party. Don't talk about building no hospitals and no school. That ain't what y'all about. Y'all them party boys, them ditty parties, them freak off boys. And Ellen done heard everything about that, man. She can't even take them dudes seriously. Got their legs crossed sitting on Ellen. Look at this, man. You're and I'm told, no, no, no. Uh, what I'm told about. Uh, I no, see no, how Ellen, it, Ellen. it's starting. Um, Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Party. Um, but yeah. you're doing. And I'm told, no, no, no. Uh, what I'm told about. Look, she tested his motherfucking gangster in front of everybody, y'all. Look, look. He's a friendly guy. She's like, I know what time it is. She reached out, grabbed it. Look how he grabbing her hand. Oh, French gonna show you some motherfucking love. Diddy all about that. Look how he got his arm, got his hand on his shoulder. She reached out to test the love. He gripped, he groped, he all... That, he must be on X. Oh my goodness. She simply reached her hand out and he got the bit. Look how he caressing her shit. Once he start touching, he ain't gonna stop. She don't size that man up. He, he bonded with her instantly. It's, it didn't take much. All she had to do was reach out and he all in. You could do what you want to do. If she wanted to take him backstage, she knows she got him. It was not, can you, if you leave Diddy with him alone, y'all need, man, I'm over here tripping. Y'all need to see this, man. That woman reached out her hand 
And that man caressed her like nobody ever caressed her. Look, 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 look. And I'm talking, no, no, no. What I'm talking about. I see how it's starting. Diddy, he looked over at Diddy like, don't worry, babe, don't worry. Like, you ain't got nothing to worry about, babe. If a shit is this, babe. Hold up. What? What? No, no, I when I told Oh, you my God. Party. This man. Did y'all see that? Hold up. Oh, my goodness. The fuck? Too much sugar. Too much motherfucking sugar, man. What up? Um, <laughs> what? What? No, no, I when I talk about partying, <laughs> when I was talking about partying just now. Oh, they kissing. Oh, oh, oh. Diddy looking like, hold up, bitch. Oh my goodness. She trying to make that nigga jealous. She looking at this nigga. Diddy look like he ready to fight. Oh my, she don't bag your bitch. What you gonna do? This nigga, he ain't loyal. While you out here buying this nigga, you got him with his liquor. You don't think he gonna trick off for of Ellen? He don't snatch the you promoting this. You lying. You tricking off on this whore. Ellen don't don't took your bitch. And now Diddy and his feelings, man. She looking at him like anybody could have him. Like how you like that, Diddy? I got you, bitch. Yo. They, while he talking all that BS, trying to get this man a bag, he don't already chose. Like, your bitch is mine, pretty Tony. Oh my goodness. Your bitch chose me. <clears throat> like, you a, you a safe haven for hoes. Ellen Don knocked his bitch the first time he ever sat on the couch. Now who pimping? He's sitting there with the cat daddy hat on, with the chains, with the jewels, acting like he got this one on lock. Like French ain't gonna float with whoever got a boat. This man don't float it. Let me show y'all something, man. It was booed up. And no disrespect to Max. He was booed up with Max B back in it. That was his first one and all that. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello. What's going on? Who this be? This is Denise. Oh, what's going on, sister? We over here talking about Diddy and French Montana. It's a whole bunch of alleged allegations we speaking about. What you got to say about all this? Why is it taking so long? It didn't take so long when they got uh, R. Kelly. You talking about with Diddy? Yeah. They still going through the process. Is that, it actually took years to get around R. Kelly. He been in trial years before he finally got locked up. And this is sick with all these rappers. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what time it is. Following all of it. It's really happening. Oh, no doubt. I just don't know, sister. It's a cold-blooded game, but, you know, these men with money, these women be chasing behind these men, and I think they develop a disdain for women because you got so many eager, willing women, and they be looking at each other like, shit, we could do better with each other. Oh. Women make themselves so disposable. 
Yeah, you got money, you, you got fame, you got power. It's nothing to get a chick. All of this for sex. I'd rather not have it. Rather just be broke, struggling, and barely making it, huh? Yes. With all all of this, this men on men stuff, that's that's not it. That's an abomination. <clears throat> hey, that's what's going on. The harder they they be, the harder they fall. You know, all them them hardcore gangsters, them thugs, them criminals. What they say is a hard head make a soft ass. So, you know how that go. And when you get up in jail, yeah. somebody that's jail, yeah. it's a totally different story. Yo, that's how it go. All them bad boys. That's what he named his whole record label. Bad boy. That's that's what he like. He like a badass, boosy, badass, knucklehead type of boy. Oh my boy. That's what he want. All the ladies they done slept with and who's to say if ain't nobody got AIDS. They probably all got AIDS, man. We'll just never know. But you know, as long as they doing the right thing by their family. They seem like they good fathers, so you got to give them credit for that. And we got to give you credit for calling in because you the realest smile. And don't be no stranger. Call back the next time we go live real talk, man. Thank her so much for her phone call, y'all. But like I was saying, look at this, y'all. Hold on. <clears throat> Max B was the first one. They was back to back like Mel Gibson and Danny Glover with the Cocaine City. The red bone nigga with a, with a bag and all that. That was French. He left Jim Jones and got with French. Do y'all see how suspect that is, man? And shout out to Max. But he left Jim Jones to get with French Montana. That's how he was moving. Look how they laid up on the couch and all that. Jim Jones was very fond of Max B. That was his man's. He paid a million dollars to get him out of jail. And after he paid that million dollars to get Max B out of jail, he left his ass and started messing around with French. And when Max B went to jail, show y'all something, man. French Montana started messing around with Akon. That was his man. He found him a. He found him somebody else with a bag. Akon gifting French Montana a fake watch. And he didn't even know it was fake. And did he put this out on his network? Hold on, listen at this, y'all. Hold on, get that together. <laughs> get to you still wait? After Akon gave you a fake watch. <laughs> Yo, man. Oh, Jesus. I mean, nah, I'm, nah, I'm still waiting for Akon to give me the new one. <laughs> you still waiting? Yeah. What kind of fake watch did he give you? I just want to be clear. It was, it was, it was a Ublo. Just in case he ever give me a gift. Nah, it was watch. a Ublo. But you know, I mean, mistakes like that can happen. You know what I'm saying? I think um, probably the jeweler did give, give him a fake watch. Did he ever tell you that? Because I need yeah, an explanation. You give me some fake shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I need the whole explanation. Like, nigga, nah. well, you know, Sonny gave how it to did you. we get it's here? Fake. How yeah. did we get here? Who do you go see? I need to see everything. I need receipts. Uh, did you drill them like that? <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, that's um, a different type of drill music right there. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> um, he got men gifting him shit. <clears throat> all that jewelry and all that stuff was gifted to him by other men. Even if the watch was fake or not, what would make a man want to ice you out like you a video vixen or something? Started messing with Akon and he left Akon when he found out the watch was fake. He gave him one of them knockoff, one of them African, one of them flea market watches, man. And that's when they stop messing around. But that was his man's. What well, that's who he was with before he started messing with Diddy. And it's a couple of other people he was fooling with before he even got around to Diddy, man. 
and his biggest gripe with Akon, Akon used to fake being an African prince. He was on some coming to America shit. He fake African, fucking Michael Blackston fake African and Prince Montana fake African allegedly. They only say they African so they could have a leg up on African Americans. Y'all see what time it is, man. Hold on, I gotta get back to this before. How long we been on here? Okay, I gotta get back to this before we get out of here. And we looking for uh, another phone call as well before we go, but y'all gotta see this, man. Ellen done stole this man chick. Hold on, run that back a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Now. I'm talking about uh, I'm Ooh. Oh. Did you see Diddy how we put, look at his wrist. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Look at his whole wrist broke. Look at his wrist. He like, uh-uh. Like that's my man. She's, she looking into his eyes. She giving him all that work, all of that work. And Diddy ain't feeling that not one bit. After he done took your fat ass and got you a BBL allegedly. He got you out here looking sexy. He got extra cushion for the sofa. He done spent all that money, done tricked off, done got you a liquor. Now you all up on this chick. Diddy couldn't believe his eyes. Like, ooh, child. Like, not my baby. Those took your bitch. Broke that man hard on national TV. These hoes ain't loyal. Hold on, y'all. Look, 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 look. Ooh, ooh, she keep on with this shit. Oh, she trying to break up a happy home. She tried to break up a happy home. She, like I said, she been pulling a card the whole interview. Hold on, look at it. Look, 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 y'all. Look. This nigga said he confused y'all. <laughs> oh this man had to get up out his seat and regain his composure. Like I know for a fact, you are not kissing all over my man right now. Oh my God. Yo, I'm done with it, man. I'm completely finished with this, man. I can't do no more of this, y'all. I can't even do no more, man. Hold on, we gotta finish this out. Cause I'm I can't even hold on, y'all. Yo, I'm done, man. Yo, y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. <clears throat> Make sure y'all answer the question, leave a comment and all that. Subscribe to the channel. All this is alleged allegations for entertainment purposes. I don't think Diddy on the DL. I don't think French Montana got a BBL for real. That's just what they talking about in the streets. I made this video to make y'all laugh. Don't take none of this stuff seriously. It's all entertainment. And that's all it is. Alleged allegations, satire, and speculations, man. But let me answer this question before I get out of here. And the question is this, man. Is it okay for gangsters to get BBL and lipo? It's safe to say that gangster ain't gangster no more. Because the shit y'all be talking about is a gangster. Ain't nothing but a bunch of shit that'll get you dead or in jail. And that definitely 
and gangster, man. So the modern standards of gangster. Hell yeah, it's gangster for somebody to get a BBL in a light pole. You, your ass going to be in jail anyway. You might as well be a sexy bitch while you up in there. Ain't no point in going to jail mediocre. Especially if you plan on doing some hard numbers. That BBL going to get you some perks while you behind them bars, man. And then you got females running the game anyway, so... You might as well be a chick. <clears throat> they the ones that's running the show. What's the point in being a man when women on top of the game, man? So do I think it's gangster for men to get BBL for gangsters? Yeah, go ahead. Have at it, man. Get a BBL and get some lipo on top of that, man. Hit that like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button. Shout out to all the people leaving comments in the comment section. I got so much love for y'all, man. And for the people that hit that cash app, let me show y'all nothing but love. I'm talking about Lauren Gammon. Hit that cash app. Thank you so much, Lauren. Derek Rochelle, bro. Thank you as well. We got Sheen is real. Keeping it real humble. Waters. Appreciate you so much, beautiful. Demetrius Bright, Michael Harris, y'all two of the realest, man. I'm Tivius Banks. What it do, dog? Sherry Olivia. And who else hit it, man? Sharina. Latoya Jackson, where you at? Tammy hit that cash app, too. I got so much love for y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man.